Let me show you the simplest way for uploading YouTube Shorts to YouTube right on the computer without ever using your phone. You could do this on Windows PC and on Mac. Let's jump in. The uploading process is actually the same as uploading a regular YouTube video, but you have to get two things right before you actually press upload. So if you press this plus icon here that says create and you press upload a video, this is how you upload a regular YouTube video, but you actually upload YouTube Shorts the exact same way. But two things have to be true about your video. Let me show you mine here. I just have it over here on my desktop and I'm going to just go ahead and press spacebar. So the first thing that has to be true is the video has to be in vertical format. So it can be a regular horizontal video. It won't see that as YouTube shorts inside of YouTube. So mine is set up that way. I'll show you a platform here that you could use for free to make yours vertical. And then you also have to make sure it's less than 60 seconds. So mine is 45 seconds. Otherwise it won't be considered a YouTube shorts either. So first to make it vertical, you could use this platform called Canva. I'll put a link in the description. All you have to do is press create a design and look for YouTube shorts. Now the size of YouTube shorts is 1080 by 1920. That's basically the vertical format. So if you choose that here, all you have to do is either drop your iPhone or Android videos right onto here. They're already vertical. Or if you use a different type of camera and have videos that are horizontal, all you have to do is go to this upload tab and I uploaded a video here. I just pressed upload and I'll just bring it over here and I just have to stretch it to fill that vertical canvas. So if I do it this way and I just stretch this out and make sure it's placed in the center just like that. Now this is a vertical video, right? So if I go ahead and press share right over here, I could actually download this video and then put it on my computer, which is what I did. And it's over here. This is the video right here. It's a different video, but the same idea using Canva here. Now back to YouTube. Again, I just press create and upload. I could select a file or I could just grab it if I have it over here, which I do. I'm going to drop it right over here like this and I'll let it upload for a second. And then what I want to do while it's uploading is I want to give it a title. So I'll just type in a title. I'll give you a couple more important things that you got to set up here as well. And you don't have to add any type of hashtag. Some people say you have to add the hashtag shorts, which you can. You could type in a hashtag here and add hashtags like this, but you don't have to do that. This is just an additional option that you have. So I usually do add a couple of hashtags like this here. So if you just type in hashtags, it's going to give you some options. The description, you could leave it completely blank. I typically leave it completely blank. Now, if you look over here under video link in a couple of minutes, it's going to say youtube.com and then slash shorts. You want to make sure it says shorts. So as long as it's vertical and it's less than 60 seconds is shorts. I'll show you a couple other things here. You could actually add a playlist, add this to a playlist. You could set your audiences here. You could also go down here and add tags. Now I don't do any of those things with short videos. I just simply title the video add a couple of hashtags, press next. If you're in the monetization program, you could actually turn on monetization here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now here I skip all these like end screens and things like that. I'm going to go to the next page, check. And here I could make sure this is public. So it gets published right away, or I could leave it on unlisted or private, or I could schedule it for a later time. I'm going to leave it to publish and press publish down here. And the video has been published. So I'm going to close this right here. And this is what the video looks like on YouTube. The HD version is still processing and people could view it here and give it a like. I'll show you one more thing on the phone here. Now inside of YouTube, if you press the plus sign on the mobile app, you could actually create shorts from here. So if you choose this option, you're going to see ton of different options over here, even adding sounds here, all these effects, but you won't have these options inside of the desktop version of YouTube. So you have to create your videos using a different platform like Canva if you really want to spice it up or get effects. But if you want to use your phone to create shorts, watch my other video that shows you how to create shorts from scratch using the mobile app. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you next time.